In this video, I'm going to show you how to work the knit stitch. So I already have some stitches cast on here. If you don't know how to cast on yet, I have a separate video called how to do the long tail cast on that you can refer to. I'm going to hold the needle with my cast on stitches with my left hand and I hold the empty needle with my right hand. I also have my ball of yarn here on the right side and as you can see it's coming from the last cast on stitch here so it's coming from the right side of the work. And I'm going to be referring to this ball of yarn here as my working yarn throughout this demo. So the first step is that you're going to insert the right needle into the first stitch on the left needle from the front to the back. Often I like to hold the working yarn as I do this. So insert into the front of the stitch through the back. Then you're going to wrap the working yarn around the right needle from the back to the front. Then you're going to pull this loop on the right needle towards you through the stitch on the left needle. And then you're going to slide the stitch on the left needle off. And usually you have to give the, uh, the tail on that first stitch. You kind of need to hold the tail down just a little bit, just to give that an extra tug, just on that very first stitch. Okay, so we have one knit stitch on the right needle. So let's do the next one. So again, insert the right needle into the stitch from front to back. Then wrap the working yarn around the right needle from the back to the front. Then pull this loop on the right needle towards you through the stitch on the left needle and then slide the stitch off of the left needle. One tip that I like to do as I'm doing the knit stitches, I'll often use my left index finger to guide things a little bit. As you can see, even as I'm pulling the right needle loop through, I'm holding my left index finger over the needle tips. And again, that just helps to guide the stitches a little bit. You can also use your left index finger to push these stitches towards the end of the needle. They're a lot easier to um, get into when they are closer to the edge of the needle. And your index finger can also help to prevent them from sliding off too much. Okay, so we're just going to knit that very last stitch. All right, so we finished the row. And when you get to the end of the row, then you swap hands. So your stitches go back to the left and the empty needle is in your right hand. So whenever you start a new row, you always want the left side needle to be the one that has all of the stitches and your working yarn is always attached to the very last stitch and on the right side of the work. And your right needle is always the empty one when you're starting a new row. I'm gonna knit another row. And as I knit this one, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I'm holding the working yarn with my right hand. Now, everybody holds their tension a little bit differently. This is how I hold it and this is what works for me. The more that you practice this, the more that you'll feel what's right with your own particular hands. As you can see, as I go into the stitch, when I go to work, wrap the yarn, I'm basically holding the yarn between my third and fourth fingers on my right hand, and my index finger here is, is guiding it as it's draped over it. But the more that you practice this, the more it will become comfortable in your own hands and you'll find a way to hold the yarn that feels comfortable to you.
All right, and we've just finished row two. And when you knit every row, like I just did, that is called garter stitch. So that is how you work the knit stitch.